The Holy Tales. Hello, my name is Tubby. I live here in this wonderful library and I love to eat books. I live here with my friends Gumbo and Freckles. Gumbo, Freckles, come out, come out, wherever you are. Over there, on that great book, is Grand Old Holy. She is really old and wise and tells us wonderful stories when she is awake, that is. Oh, and we love to sing. Hello children, come, listen to my story today. It's about four men who walk in the fire. King Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, had made a golden statue which was 90 feet tall. He made an announcement in his court that all the citizens should worship this statue or they would be thrown into a furnace. Fearing for their lives, Everyone started worshipping the statue that the king had set up, except three men, Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. These three men were not ready to worship the statue, which angered the king. The king warned them that they would be thrown into the furnace if they did not worship the idol. The three men stood in front of the angry king and said, we have a lot of faith in our God, and the Lord will save us from the furnace. But we will never serve your God or idol. This angered Nebuchadnezzar all the more. He ordered that the furnace be heated seven times hotter than ever before. The king ordered the guards to tie the three friends and take them to the furnace. The furnace was raging with heat which killed the guards and the three men fell down into the flames. The king and his people were amazed looking into the furnace. They were surprised that they had thrown three men into the flames. But now they could see four men untied and walking through the fire. None of them looked hurt at all. The king realized that the fourth man was no one else but the Lord himself. He asked the three men to come out of the fire. The three men walked out but none of them were burned, nor did they smell of fire. The king declared, The God of these three men is blessed and no one should ever speak against their God. I hope you listened very carefully to the story. Yes, we did. So. Who can tell me the number of people King Nebuchadnezzar saw inside the furnace? I know, four. Correct. Okay, nap time. Bye-bye, children. <laughs>